Tom Dia and Ben Windows in Rio de Janeiro for a new edition of the LAD Defense and Security Exhibition. For three days, the LAD will host more than 600 exhibitors and many official delegations from 85 countries around the world. And for this first daily video, we had the chance to meet a commander of a special unit of the Brazilian army. And secondly, we will focus on two new capabilities offered to the Brazilian army, which are the Guarani 6x6 armored vehicle of Iveco and a new upgrade for the Brazilian army's self-propelled howitzer. My main missions are the, the first one is to provide the security for the paratroopers and the second one is to provide the reconnaissance and vigilance of the targets. This way, these are two kinds of uh, sniper system, sniper weapons. We have uh, two weapons here. One is the Remington, the another one is the Barity. You use there to reach the target with security. The range of the weapons are, depends on the ammunition, but around 800 meters. This is a SMT-9. It's from Brazil. The industry is named as Taurus. This weapon is a assault rifle, 9 millimeters. The range is around 50 meters. Yeah? It's used to, to tactical entrances. This weapon is a Fuzil Assault ER2 is a caliber 556, is a tactical weapon as well. It's from Inbel, the industry of Brazil. And finally, we have here two weapons. The first one is the Mini Me 762, the ammunition, and then it's a machine gun, it's an assault machine gun. And that one is anti-material weapon, 0.50 the caliber, and then it's anti-material sniper weapon as well. This main represents the, our capacity of jumping from an airplane in high altitudes. We have uh, troops around 12 men to accomplish that kind of mission. This guy represents the capacity of climbing mountains because uh, we call the mountain with a key terrain. We can find the, the mountains in everywhere. So, how Brazilian is covered by water, how you know, <laughs> we have this capacity to, to operate. Yeah? It's a, this guy represents the diving, a capacity of diving, and as well to operate in the jungle. The jungle is the big forest of the world, the Amazonia forest we have here. My experience there, I lived there during two years, and to operate there is it's a very harm. Yeah, very wet and very dangerous as well because of the animals and this, the jungle is, uh, is our fortune and as well our death. <laughs> One of the tasks of my unit is to provide the reconnaissance and vigilance. For this purpose, you utilize this system. It's the VANT system, it's the type 1 of VANT system, it's one tactical one. The range is 12 kilometers and the autonomy is around 45 minutes of flight. It's a very nice system, tactical system for my troops and until a brigade. I have two systems of there. Each system has two airplanes and one main computer. This system was developed in Brazil. It's, uh, it's good for us because we, we have the technology to do this. We have some real missions during the main events of the Earth that have occurred here in Brazil in World Cup and Olympic Games. In Olympic Games, we have an important real mission to provide the security of the right government, the VIP. They were assembling in the Itamaraty Palace before going to the open ceremony.
The Guarani is a new family of armored personnel carriers being developed by Iveco Latin America for the Brazilian Army. Also known as Euro 2-3, the 6x6 drive armored vehicle can carry two crew and up to nine soldiers. In December 2009, Brazil awarded a 2.5 billion euros contract to Iveco to supply more than 2,000 Guarani carriers. The new vehicle will replace the aging EE-11 Urutu APC currently in use with the Brazilian Armed Forces. The fleet to be delivered during the 20 next years will comprise troop transport, communication, command posts, ambulance and 120mm mortar vehicles. The Guarani is powered by an Iveco Cursor 9 turbocharged diesel engine generating a power of 283 HP. The vehicle also has a hydropneumatic suspension, a maximum speed of 100 km and can ford at 9 km. But Brazil is also upgrading 32 of its M109 self-propelled Wizards to the A5 Plus standard through a $54 million contract awarded in September 2016 to Bayer Systems. The vehicles will include items specifically tailored to the Brazilian Army's requirements. The A5 Plus upgrade includes a Iris Falcon 3 radio, muzzle velocity radar, inertial navigation unit, GPS, firing computer, fire director, remote actuated travel lock, and an automated RTD command and control system locally designated as SISDAC and believed to be Raytheon's advanced field artillery tactical data system.